what it really do again welcome back to the channel listen bro i'm always gonna hope that you're having a great day but today i know you're about to have a great day why because if you love punk if you like yourself some therions and if you like yourself some bestials then you're in the right place man listen <laughs> i might have to make two videos for this deck because i have one problem i got my spatula on me so you know we chefed it up you know we did some craziness you know we're late but I have too many replays to show you, bro. It's just this deck is craziness. I'm actually really excited, you could probably tell, to show you this deck because it's nuts. So with that being said, if you guys enjoy the content, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe to the boy because I would greatly appreciate it. Enough talking, man. <laughs> I might have to make two videos for this. Let's get into them replays. Oh, right again, here we are for replay numero uno of today. Out of how many replays? I don't know yet. I just don't want to make an extremely long video, but <laughs> I have replays for you, my boys. So here we're going to start off. Let's see. I believe we're going first. Of course we are. I got to show you how we're going to make this board, right? So we're going to activate the Bristol Rebellion, send us into the graveyard so we can get myself a Serenir. We're going to activate the Sea Amen. We're going to get ourselves a uh, Foxy. We're going to activate the Foxy Tomb, sending the Serenir to the graveyard, activating that thing's effect so we can send the brand that we gained down there. We're going to special summon the Yukioi, activate its effect. We're both of these monsters. We're going to go into the Rising Carp. Activate the Rising Carp, send it to the graveyard. Give me a Deer Note and give me a, a Wagon, please. I need to start jamming. You know how we do this when we play Punk. We jam. Activate that thing's effect. But we just activate it, set it down, whatever. We're gonna use both of these monsters to get a little chaotic, cause you know we have to go into the Chaos Ruler, activate that voice effect, activate the Deer Note, bring the Yukioi back onto the field, huh? Regular Degular. Slap that thing onto the field. What do we have? We have an Aim, Ogre Dance, Joyous Spring, well, Ash Blossom, Foxy Tune, and Sea Aiming, right? So we're gonna grab the Ogre Dance. Give me that. Activate the Therion King Regulus. Special summon that thing onto the field. Now I did this here because I their field was kind of glowing. So I was like, if you have a Nibiru by now, congratulations, you played yourself. So we're gonna activate the Jerusalem. Unfortunately, I did have to use this right now for what I was about to do, right? We're gonna banish the Terranier. We're gonna get that thing out of here. Special summon the um L Lubellion. Now I could have done this differently. I could have done this differently and saved the Durstrom, but I didn't really think about that at the time. So we're going to set the uh, Branded Beast, we're going to Special Summon the uh, Assault Synchro, and we're both of these monsters right here. We're going to Synchro Summon into Baron the Floor. Oh my goodness. We're going to activate the Ogre Dance and that's into the Graveyard so we get myself a Madame Spider. We're going to activate the Extreme Session, banishing a CM so I can Special Summon the Spider, activate some Fet, pay some taxes, get myself a Trap. Draw me a card, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna use both of these monsters right here to go into the Psychic and Punisher, and we already have 49,000 life points left. Activate the Chaos Ruler, banish two cards, special summon that thing onto the field. Get the field spell out of here, activate the Colosseum, get myself a Dookie Yo, activate that thing's effect, attach the Madame Spider onto that thing. Special summon it, two level eights. We're gonna exceed summon into the Champion Sargas. What? Activate that thing's effect, get myself a Therion stand up, and set that thing down. <laughs> Yo. Son, we have an Omni Negate. We have an Omni Negate. We have basically untouchable until they can manage to get less life points than us. We have a, well, actually, I figured this out. I couldn't, I, this was one of my first replays. This thing, I can't use it to do the bounce back. So technically speaking, the only reason this is here is so that I have the Papa card on the field. Because, you know, I need a Punk Monster on the field. We still have another Papa card on the field. And I even forgot to put the brand that we gained on the field, bro. Oh, no, no, I didn't. Activate that thing. Bring it. <laughs> this board is crazy. The board is crazy, bro. I don't even... They're going to activate Harpy Feather Dust. I'm going to negate that thing. Get it out of here. I like my back row. I like my back row, bro. Then they're gonna go to the battle phase. I'm like, okay, Beck, give myself the attack boost, activate the evenly match, and I hate that thing. Congratulations, you played yourself. Now they're gonna activate the Cold Bite, banishing the Assault Synchro. Here, I activated my Theorem Stand Up. I didn't need to do this. It's just, um, I was trying to attach, I read that wrong. I forgot how that worked. I was trying to attach it to this thing, but we managed to special summon it anyways, but it's cool. Doesn't really matter, that thing is negated. Again, they banish a dark monster, so now I get to draw a card. Congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow, bro. Mm. 
what are you supposed to do? <laughs> what what are you supposed to do, bro? Even if you do have like because I have replays where I got kaiju, I got lava golem. I don't know if I'll show you this in the in this video, but bro, listen. <laughs> Let's go into the next replay, man. All right, gang, here we are for replay number two, number two for today. And listen, bro, we're going second. It's replay number two, so we have to go second. It's only right. I'm, I think this is against Sprite, and we actually managed to play through a Sprite board going second. That's the crazy part. So, here they're going to start off. Oh, no, it's Runic something. Whatever. They're going to special summon a Runic Wings, the heal game, right? They're going to activate that thing's effect, sending a card to the graveyard. I'm going to um, infinite impermanence that thing, because we don't need them drawing cards and doing all that extra shenanigans. I don't want my cards banished anyway. Here they're going to normal summon the Sprite Jet or special summon it, whatever. Getting a sprite started onto the hand, we're gonna activate that thing's effect, paying life on so they can get a blue onto the field. Activate the blue because it's starting to color now. Now they got the red. They're gonna special summon the red. They're gonna use both of these monsters right here. Two level two, XC summon, gigantic sprite. 32 liters, 32 ounces, right? Activate that thing's effect. Special summon the uh, carrot. Get yourself a blue and a carrot. You're making a salad. Get yourself a sprite elf. Why not, right? Activate that thing's effect, bring the carrot back onto the field, set down a back row. Now, this isn't like a crazy board, but we still have to deal with a trap negate, a monster negate, and whatever this shenanigans has to do, right? So I'm like, okay, bet. So here we're gonna activate the Bistle Lubellion, send that thing to the graveyard. They're gonna call by the grave that thing. I'm like, well, okay, interruption number one, right? Then they're gonna activate this thing's effect, gonna special summon the blue back onto the field, bring it out here. This thing gets banished and negated, unfortunately. But we still got plays, bro. Don't even worry about it. This thing has plays for days. So here we're going to activate the Ogre Dance and that thing to the graveyard. They're going to max see me. Oh, yeah. We also break boards while taking max C challenges. If you didn't know. So that thing to the graveyard. Get myself a Deer Note. We're going to activate the Foxy Tunes and that thing to the graveyard. They're going to activate the red. Sending the blue to the graveyard so they can negate that thing. I'm like, okay. Disruption number two, right? Congratulations, we're gonna normal summon the CA man, activate its effect, get myself a Yukioi. We're gonna activate the Deer No special summon the Yukioi. Did you see how I play? Did you see how I managed to cover my bases, bro, by bringing this thing to the hand before they even negated anything so I could make sure that I could bring this thing onto the field so I could special summon it? Come on, bro. Special summon that thing onto the field. Both of these monsters, we are going to go to the Chaos Ruler because you have to get chaotic, right? Draw your cards, bro. Activate that thing's effect. Activate the Deer Note. Bring the um, Yukioi back onto the field. Give me that. That's mine. We're going to search for some cards. We hit a Lily. We hit a Soul Synchro. We hit a Duke. We hit a Nemesis Corridor and a Deer Strong, right? So I get my um, a Soul Synchro. We're going to activate this thing's effect right here because now we have a Ethereal Monster in the graveyard. Special summon that thing, activate its effect, get rid of a card so I can um, draw into a Theorem the Colosseum. This is the effect of the Lily, by the way. Then we're gonna use a level, <laughs> level 3 tuner, level 7, Baron the Floor. Give me that, it's mine. Now, if they have a Nibiru, if they have anything that can try and stop me, I'm negating it. But either way, we're gonna pop this thing in the face, get it out of here. Special summon the Assault Synchro, level 2 tuner, level 8 monster, Source of Supreme Severin Chen Ying. Activate the Chaos Ruler, banish two cards, special summon the Chaos Ruler. Now I get to banish two cards off of the field, well, one from the grave and one from the field, right? Get them out of here. Special summon the Theory in the Colosseum, activate its effect, get myself a King Regulus. I activate this thing, get myself one of the Theory Monsters from the graveyard, attach it to it. We have a 35... 1,000 beast, 3,500 beast stick. That's also an Omni Negate on top of having another Omni Negate. And we have more than lethal damage, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> While taking the Max E challenge. Hit me with an Nibiru, I dare you. <laughs> we out of here. Let's go. All right, gang. Here we are for replay numero tres, number three for today. You feel me? I'm way too excited to keep showing you replay, bro. This deck is nuts. This deck is wild. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you, bro. Here we are gonna go first. We're gonna start off by activating the Ogre Dance Rice and nothing to the graveyard. We're gonna get Ash Blossom. Okay, congratulations. It is spring on your side of the field. You don't get no petals, though. That's only for me. 
So I'm like, okay, babe, we're gonna normal summon the CA main, activate its effect, getting ourselves a Foxy Tune, activate the Foxy Tune, send that thing to the graveyard, send the Lily to the graveyard, special summon a Yukioi. We're gonna use both of these monsters right here to fusion summon to the Rising Carp, of course. Activate my boy's effects and into the graveyard. Dear no, Madame Spider. Activate the Madame Spider. Get myself a trap. To both of these monsters right here, we're gonna go into the Chaos Ruler, right? Now, I'm not sure. One of these replays was against my Makenko. Makenko. And I made a specific board. I don't know if it's this one, but we'll see. We're gonna activate the Chaos Ruler, activate the Dear No, so we could special summon the wagon back onto the field, right? Give me that, and here we're going to hit an Ash Blossom, a Bista Lubellion, and a Soul Synchro, a King Regulus, and a Sea Amen. So I get the um, a Soul Synchro. We're going to activate this thing's effect, paying some taxes so we can start jamming, get my jam section. We're going to set that thing down. We're going to use both of these monsters right here level 3, level 8, level 11, Psychic and Punisher. Give me that. Then we're going to activate the Chaos Ruler, banish two cards so we can special summon it back onto the field. Activate the Assault Synchro, Special Summon it, paying your taxes. Bring the Baron the Floor back on to the field. <laughs> this isn't even a crazy boy like that. Anyways, we're gonna activate this thing's effect, banishing the Assault Synchro. We're gonna activate this effect, get it out of here so we can activate the Bishop Lubellion, right? Bishop Lubellion gonna activate, we're gonna set the Branded Regain. I actually should have got the Branded Beast. I don't know why I decided to go with the Regain. I mean, I'm guessing because I did have the Drill Strong, but. Whatever, right? We still have a Omni Negate, Undestructible, the Bounce Back, and a Papa card on the field. So here they activated the Medica Matrix. I'm gonna pop that immediately because it's not being activated. It's not really doing anything, but if I leave it on the field, they're gonna start banishing my extra deck, right? They're gonna activate the Nadir Servant. I'm like, yeah, nah, get that thing out of here, negate it. I wanna see that. Now I want to see that. But then again, they had the dramatic. <laughs> this man had a crazy hand, actually. For what he could have done with this deck, he had a crazy hand. Because now he gets his special summon, the Albasoa, right? Bring that thing out to the field. I'm going to activate the Brandon Regain. I'm going to bring the uh, Bistil Magna Hub back onto the field. They're going to activate that thing's effect. And they banish a bunch of cards from my extra deck. Specifically this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing and this thing right here. So I'm like, okay, bet. Then they're going to activate the Furu, Furu Ellis. So I'm gonna banish whatever they have down there so I can special summon the Deer Shroom. Also, I'm gonna get to draw a card for the brand that we gain, right? This thing gets to come out here. It's gonna get an attack boost, I believe. Anyways, we're gonna send that thing back so I can draw a card. It doesn't give you attack boost. We're gonna activate this thing's effect. Oh, there we go. So they're gonna slap my Baron the floor in the face. And then he decides to get rid of my Deer Shroom. I mean, listen, either way, if this is all they had, we were, we were going to win the game regardless. But you get rid of my dear Strishram. This thing is only unaffected by extra deck monsters. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, let's go into the next replay. Oh, right gang, here we are for replay numero. I don't know which number this replay is. I'm going to stop counting. It's just, we're here. You're here, you're going to watch this. This is, oh yeah, we're going second again. What are we going second against? Some Castilla, oh, Castilla Runic, all right. So they're gonna special summon the Unicorn, activate its effect, get the rebirth. They're gonna set down the um, Runic Fountain. They're gonna activate this thing's effect, activating the Runic Spelling, special summoning the Feki of Runic Fangs. And then they're gonna bring this thing and draw a card. Now this doesn't look all that crazy. I know it looks like some whatever board, but I promise you it's actually not that bad. You're gonna see. So here we're going to activate the Abyssal Lubellion once again, send that thing to the graveyard so I can get myself a Abyssal Jirshroom. They're going to activate the Unicorn, they're going to get rid of my Psychic and Punisher. I'm like, okay, back, congratulations. We're going to special summon the Sea Amen, activate its effect, get myself an Ogre Dance. We're going to activate the Ogre Dance, send that thing to the graveyard so I can get myself the Yukioi, right? We have a normal summon here, we're going to normal summon the Wagon, get myself the Jam Extreme Session, set the Extreme Session in the corner. They're going to activate the Runex Slumber. So basically, they did this. Just so they could start banishing cards off of my deck. I'm like, okay, bet. Congratulations. Get it in there. Another thing is going to go down there. Then they're going to activate this thing's effect. Banishing all three of these cards from my graveyard. So I'm like, okay, then I'll just banish my own Lubellion. Bring the Jurors come back onto the field. Why would I let you do that without me getting something out of it, right? So all of those cards get banished. They activate the Rune of Destruction. They pop my field spell, banishing some of my cards. 
which I'm like, okay, damn it. Now they're gonna get both of these things back into the deck to draw a card. I'm like, nope, Ash Blossom, get that thing out of here. They're not drawing anything on my watch, bro. It's spring on my side of the field. Then we're gonna use both of these monsters right here. We're gonna go into the Reverness Crocodragon. Yes, sir, because we get to draw a card. <laughs> Why not, right? Then we're gonna activate the Jersum, and we're gonna get this thing out of here, because we don't need it on the field. Goodbye, see you tomorrow. And then we're gonna draw a card. We're going to the Ogre. We're gonna activate the Deer Nose, Special Summon of the Yukioi. We're gonna pay some life points. Here, we would have drawn more cards if we had the field spell, but unfortunately, they popped it, right? So we're gonna go into the Rising Carp. Activate the Rising Carp, send it to the graveyard, Deer No, and my damn spider, my damn spider, pay some taxes so I can get my trap, right? And both of these monsters, we are going to go into the Chaos Ruler, bring him out here. We're going to activate that voice effect, activating the Deer No, so I can bring the wagon back onto the field. The only reason I'm winging wagon is just in case they do have something, if they target something, I'll get to draw a card. So here we hit the Teleport, the Foxy Tune, the Sea Amen, the Joy of Spring. And a King Regulus, so I bring the Foxy Tune onto the hand, it was the only light or dark monster that we hit, right? So then we both for these monsters right here, we're going to go into the Yukioi Amazing Dragon. And you guys know me, I'm a generous person, I like giving back, so you can have all of that, activate the Chaos Ruler. <laughs> bring the Chaos Ruler back onto the field, and it's, it's, it's more than lethal damage, bro. It's legitimately more than lethal damage. Deck is crazy going first, deck is crazy going second. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Let's go to the next replay. Oh, right, gang, we are for the next replay of the day. Now, one of these, I'm, I'm going to show you how we made a, a board with the Chaos Angel as well. This this deck makes so many different boards, bro. It's, it's honestly, I don't know. We're going to activate the Decolo Sim so I can get myself a Duke. We're going to uh, activate the Emergency Teleport so I can special summon the Wagon. Activate the Wagon, get myself my field spell the jam session we do have two field spells but the good thing about this thing is is that it essentially it's useless after you use it so it's nice to use it first and then use the second one so i like doing it this way we're gonna activate the ogre dance and nothing to the graveyard to give myself a sea amen we're gonna normal the sea amen activate its effect playing life one so i could draw a card and get myself a foxy tune we're gonna draw into an infinite impermanence we're gonna get rid of this thing so i can special summon this thing now i'm not gonna lie to you i think i messed up over here I'm not sure if I if I intended to do this, I don't remember. But either way, it was fine, because now we get to attach this thing to this thing, so I can get another level 8. Activate this thing's effect, sending the trap to the grave. And yeah, I don't think I intended to do that, but it still worked out, because we get to special summon the UPO, right? And then we both for these monsters right here. We're going to go into the um, Rising Carp. Act we're going to draw a card to pay taxes. We're going to the Lubellion. Activate the Lubellion. Send that thing to the grave. I get myself a Magna Hut. Activate this thing's effect, send it to the graveyard, get the deer note, get the wet um, spider. Now, I already had the trap, so I couldn't pay life points to draw another card there. And I couldn't search it out because I only played one. So we activate the Chaos Ruler, activate its effect, activate the deer note so I could bring the Yukioi back onto the field. Um, and let's see what we hit over here. We hit a Branded Beast, unfortunately, a Foxy Tune, a King Regulus, an Infinite Impermanence, and a Sea Amen. So I get the Foxy Tune onto the hand, send the rest to the graveyard. We're going to get this thing out of here so I can special summon the Lubellion, right? Activate the Lubellion's effect, setting down the Branded uh, Regain. Then we go for these monsters right here. We are going to go into the Psychic and Punisher. Give me that. Activate this thing's effect, banish a light in the dark so we can special summon it back onto the field. Then we're going to activate this effect, bring the Ogre Dance back into the hand so I could draw it again, unfortunately. I was like, bro, come on. But now I get to banish the card, special summon this other level 8. Two level 8s, we get to exceed summon into the gigantic champion Sargas. Bring him out here. Activate that boy's effect. Get myself a King Regulus. Activate the Regulus. Get myself the Duke Yo. Now we have another, uh, well, we have an Ugly Negate. And we're going to set down the infinite impermanence. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm mainly showing you this. I messed up a few times. But I'm showing you this replay because this was a good back and forth uh, duel. So, they activate the Thunder Dragon. Unfortunately, they're playing Thunder Dragon Punk. And if you're playing Punk against me, bro, I'm sorry. You're, you're most likely going to lose. We're going to activate the Branded Regain. They're going to activate the Branded Allure. That way they could banish one of their um, Thunder Ragnaroks, whatever. They're going to activate this since effect. I'm like, nah, I think I want to give you that back. I I'm just generous right now. I feel like giving it back to you. But I'm going to draw a card, though. 
So here we go into the Nemesis Corridor. That thing is bounced back into the deck, right? Now we get, they get the Thunder Dragon Fusion. They get the Gold Esophagus. Activate that thing's effect so they can banish another Thunder Dragon Roar. Activating that thing's effect. Special summoning a Thunder Dragon. Activating the Dragon Dragon Hug. Thunder Dragon Hug. They're gonna special summon the thing back onto the field. Now they get the Thunder Dragon Colossus onto the field. Activating the Thunder Dragon Fusion. I'm gonna negate that thing because um they're gonna bring that three-headed dragon thing that i don't know what it's called right now and i'm like nah we're not doing that then they're gonna special summon the kale dragon level near activating its effect i'm gonna infinite impermanence that thing because i don't want them popping my cards <laughs> just i don't want them popping my cards bro so that thing is body negated they activate the bestial serenir banishing my my yule so i get my <laughs> uh bestial magna hood they're gonna hit me with that max c like this is this is what I like to do, bro. Like I know I made a crazy board, but play play against it, man. I love this right here. So then I'm gonna activate the things effect. They're gonna ash blossom that thing. It's like he has responses for all the things that I'm doing, but it's just the board is still crazy though. So now he's gonna use all three of these monsters to go to the black lotus soldier, right? Bring him out here. They're gonna go into the battle phase. I'm gonna give myself the attack boost. They're gonna slap the um, champion in the face. And now this thing is gonna get a, an attack boost. And that's that's all they wrote, right? So we get the uh, Therium the Colosseum. I'm gonna activate this thing's effect. Banish a light in the dark. Special summon it. They're gonna activate the base of Serenir. I'm gonna negate that thing because I'm like, why not? If that's the only card you have left, then it is what it is. Special summon that thing. Also, I already know they get to draw a card off of this thing. Which I was hoping for them to draw into more disruption because I, I I was really enjoying this game. So here I'm gonna try and draw. I knew that they would get to draw a card instead of me. But I'm like, go ahead, draw into something. Let me see. They didn't draw into anything, bro. At least I don't think so. So I'm gonna activate this thing's effect. Get myself a lily. Get the lily. Attach the king through King Therium to it. Now we have an Omni um, Negate. If they have anything to stop me, it doesn't matter now. We're gonna slap this thing in the face. This thing's gonna activate. I get to bring this thing back to the hand. And we have way more than lethal damage, bro. It's just... But I really enjoy this duel, bro. I genuinely really enjoy this duel so much. Even though I messed up making the board at the beginning. But this is this is just to show you. Even when you mess up, bro. Most of the boards that you're gonna end up with are kind of cracked anyways. So with that being said, let's go into the next one. Alright gang, we are for the next replay of the day. Now I think the video is, is it should be about 30 something minutes long after this this duel. Um, I think I'm gonna make a second video for this deck because I have crazier replays. Anyways, they're gonna activate the Frifer Patchwork, right? They're gonna get to basically bring the edge in chain. I think this one, I, I'm basically showing you this. To show you how I basically slap, you'll see. They're gonna use both of these monsters right here to fusion summon into the Gargoyle, the Dust Dragon, right? Bring it out here. They're gonna activate that thing's effect, activating the Edge in Chain. They're gonna get themselves another Fire Fair Patchwork. I'm guessing they had a weird hand, because here they're gonna send the Bristol Lobelin, activating the branded opening, special summoning the Alubur, activating the Alubur so they can get themselves the branded fusion. Here they're gonna activate the branded fusion, sending the Albus and a branded Deathcare to the graveyard so they can use both of them to special summon the Lubellion, right? Or fusion summon the Lubellion, activate that thing's effect, getting rid of the Ash Blossom so they can activate the thing's effect as well. They're gonna join to an Ablivitum of Despia, of course. They're gonna send both of these back so they can fusion summon to the Albion, the branded dragon. Now, I'm not sure. I haven't played Brandon in a little while, but I'm not sure if this is like on Orthodox, like if this is weird, what they're doing. If they could have done something better, but here they're going to the Masquerade. They're going to activate the Beast of Lubellion, right? Bring that thing onto the field, activate its effect, set down a Brandon regain, and they're going to end their turn. They're going to activate this thing's effect, getting a Brandon banishment. Now, the board is weird, but from what I understand from Brandon, this thing right here, being able to use some of your fusion monsters and materials to go into Lobelion is cracked as well. And then I'm guessing they'll draw a card off of this thing. So I don't know if this is just a weird board they made, but I don't know, bro. I haven't played Brandon in a little bit. They have the Masquerade though, so here, <laughs> I, will, I had a plan. 
All I had to do was get myself a level 11, I mean a level 8 and a level 3 on the field so I could make a level 11. So I activate the Bissolo Bell and get myself the Drill Summon to the field. I'm gonna pay some life ones, right? Activate the Foxy Tune Special Summon the Yukioi. Activate the King Regulus because we did have the Lily down there. Now we have an Ovni in the gate. Attach that thing to it. We're gonna use both of these monsters right here to go into the Psychic and Punish. Um, we're gonna normal summon this thing, activate its effect. I'm gonna pay life points too. Get myself the Jammer Spoon Session, activate it, pay some more life stones, activate its effect. Activated this thing's effect so I could banish this thing because I knew that the only thing they really had was the branded banishment to activate its effect so they could go into the uh, Lubellion. So here I'm gonna activate the Drift Storm. Unfortunately for them, that was the bad part that I had that thing so I could special summon it onto the field. Hold on, bro. I'm cooking too hard, bro. I'm cooking too hard, man. House is burning. Hold on, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. So now we're back. I I'm sorry, bro. I was cooking too hard. Alarm started going off. Fire department. All of that. So, <laughs> um, I don't know where we were, but okay, yeah. I got to banish that thing because um, I'm guessing they were going to fusion, which it wouldn't matter. Even if they would have brought the Lubellion onto the field. Uh, the ice jade it wouldn't even matter bro but either way we're gonna continue to pay some life points they're gonna activate the brand that regain i'm like okay congratulations draw a card do what you need to do bro do what you need to do so here we're gonna draw into the theorem de colosseum we're gonna activate this thing's effects like a special summon onto the field again we're gonna pay some more life points activate this thing get the uh, lubellion out of here and basically all i wanted to do was get enough life points because i knew i was going to activate this thing in the battle phase Giving myself even less life points, 400, and look at the attack boost. <laughs> All I needed was to just slap one monster, bro. By the way, I have a replay going against, um, going against, uh, Pearly, which I might just show you in the next video. You could do this to Pearly, too. If you could get a, if you could get a Lubellion onto the field, and just, I mean, Lubellion, if you could get a, a Psychic Game Punisher onto the field and pay a bunch of life points, you could attack over them. And then they have to deal with your tower, which is crazy. So, with that being said, uh, let me see if I show you another replay or if we just go to the deck list. So, let's go into right. So, I decided to show you this replay because of, I wanted to show you how I make the Chaos Angel. Because it's in the deck. You're going to see it in the, in the deck list. You can make this thing too with both of its effects. And um, we made a decent board too, so I wanted to show you this replay before we before we go. <clears throat> so we're gonna activate the Jammer Spoon Session, special summon the Madan Spider, so I can get my trap. Activate its effect because we're gonna draw a card, emergency teleport, special summon the Sea Amen. Activate the Sea Amen. Get yourself a Foxy Tune, right? We're gonna draw another card because we pay life points again. Activate the Foxy Tune, send the um, Duke into the graveyard. But we both of these monsters right here. We're going to. Fusion summon into the Rising Carp. Activate the Rising Carp. Special summon the Deer Note and the uh, Wagon. We already have the Fuel Spell, so it doesn't really matter, but we already have the Trap as well, so <laughs> we're gonna special summon the Chaos Ruler, right? Activate that thing's effect. Activate the Deer Note. Bring the, bring the Wagon back onto the field. Wop. We're gonna hit a Sea Amen, a Soul Synchron, through in the Colosseum, Bishop Lubellion, and a Serenir. So I get the Assault Synchron onto the hand. Activate the Serenir, send the brand that we gain to the graveyard. Activate the Assault Synchron, special summon it. Get rid of the Bis um, the Chaos Ruler, so I can special summon the uh, Bissell Lubellion. Set down the Branded Beast, and with both of these monsters right here, we're going to go into the Chaos Angel. So as you saw, all you need to make this thing have both of its effect is an Assault Synchro and a Bistol Lubellion. So now that's another thing that they have to get rid of, right? Now we're gonna activate the Chaos Ruler, banish a Dark and a Light so we can special summon that thing back onto the field. Level 3, level 8, you know how this goes. Psychic can punish her. Now this is the crazy part. This is the third time I'm gonna use the Chaos Ruler because bring it back onto the field with the Assault Synchro. Oh my god, bro. That is nuts. Activate this thing's effect, set the brand to regain. This thing, unaffected. This thing, unaffected. This thing, unaffected. Bounce back right here. Pop a card on the field. Potential, oh, I did banish the Serenir, unfortunately, like a me head. 
because if not we would have had we would have been able to special summon it and pop a card on the field with this thing as well but i didn't think about that at the time but the board is nuts is what i'm saying bro like this board right here is just disgusting so they're gonna activate uh the gotham we're playing against um dark world they're gonna activate the gates of dark world and i'm just gonna immediately pop that thing get it out of my face because they're gonna start doing a bunch of shenanigans right now if they do make a goddess they're gonna get destroyers they're gonna activate the card of destruction i'm gonna ash blast on that thing because the hand was nuts bro i'm only showing you this to show you the board because they're just gonna scoop we're gonna catch you later bro the deck is nuts is wild and i'm gonna show you more replays in, the, in another video because i have i got kaiju i got the b-rude and we played through some stuff so i'm gonna show you that this video is too long right now let's go into the deck list all right gang here we are for the deck list portion of the video um so like i said i do have other replays that i'm gonna show you maybe in another video hopefully i want to because they're crazy as well like i said we got kaiju and the b and still play through a bunch of shenanigans so with that being said here's the deck list 44 cards we have two assault synchrons because this thing is just cracking this deck you can make level eights with with these things you can make level two you have so many level eights you can make level tens like it's nobody's business like come on now so yeah we play two of them things like especially summon itself from the hand it's gonna it works well because you pay life points in order to summon it so when you make psychic and punisher it's even better because you have less life points this thing is nice three ash blossoms um, one Yukioi Punk Sharakasai, one Gaga Punk Wagon, one uh, Madame Spider, uh, three No Punk C Amens, one Nemesis Corridor, um, two Punk Deer Notes, one Bestial Magna Hut, one Bestial Serenier, one Bestial Dirsham. I don't play the other one because it's unnecessary, and most of the time you make so much crazy boards, you might not even use it. So that's why I only play these three. Then um, Therion Bull Aim one of those because it's a level seven and you could um special summon this thing by attaching this thing to it which is really nice also one thing that you should know is that if you do that if you activate this thing's effect and you attach this thing to it if you get rid of this thing this thing gets to leave the field and you get to special summon a level three monster one of your punk monsters which is crazy so but it doesn't even have to be the level three by the way it's just any one of your punk monsters from the graveyard which is really nice then you have one theory of Reaper Fume. This one I don't get to use that much, but it's just another Therion card that I would like to hit. Also, I like its effect during your opponent's turn to bounce a card back to the hand. So, for example, if you have uh, this thing and you can attach this thing to it, then you basically have a, a bounce back and an opening the game, which is really nice. Then we have three Dear uh, No Punk Foxy Tunes. We have three No Punk Orga Dance. We have one uh, Therion Duke Yule one therion lily bora because this thing is just gonna search you out any one of your therion spells um so something you could do also because i am playing this thing this thing is really nice because if you send any all right so if you if you have this thing in the hand and you can activate this thing and search another therion spell trap whatever you could activate this thing's effect send what at one of these these or this thing into the graveyard or any one of your monsters and you get to draw two cards which is wild also, this is what you use to search out this thing, and if you already use this thing to search out this thing, that means you're gonna get, uh, you could get your opening the gate that way as well, which is really nice. Unfortunately, we don't play plant monsters though, so we are playing thing uh, two Therion King regulars just in case you do send one to the graveyard. You can still search the other one if you have to. Um, also, one of the, the downsides to this is that we don't play machine monsters. The only machine monster we play is this thing. So you can uh, bring this thing from the hand onto the field by attaching this thing to it, which is okay as well. So then we have two Bestial Lubellions. Don't need more than two. Honestly, I'm fine with the two. And this is just, you know, you're playing the uh, Bestials as well. Cracky Sauciness. Endless Engines, you're going to activate this thing's effect to send a uh, Ethereum card from your deck, I believe. Yeah, from the deck to the graveyard. So if you have any one of your Ethereum monsters in the hand, just send another one to the graveyard, attach it to it, and you can start comboing off. You could do this one to search out your field spell you could bring it you could attach a level seven if you have a level three tuner to make it run the floor you could do a bunch of shenanigans then we have again this thing is just to draw two cards and also if you don't have the ability to draw two cards with it it's good fodder to get rid of with the foxy tune or any one of your other cards that you need to get rid of cards in order to do anything with so that's why we have it in there as well then we have one two theory in the coliseums because if you 
it's nice to open up with this thing because you get to use it, search our ethereal card, and then you, you're gonna do your combo to search this thing, so you're gonna get rid of it anyways, which is okay, but we're playing it at two, you could get away with playing it at one, it's just, you know, you might get rid of it milling or something like that, that's why I play it at two, then we have one punk jam extreme session, because you have to start jamming, this is your field spell, draw cards, special summon a punk monster by banishing one, this thing is nuts, one brand that we gain, because we do banish a bunch of, we banish, most of your deck is dark and lights, except for your punk cards because they're earth, except for these two. But you have a bunch of dark and light monsters that you're probably gonna banish with this thing to activate anyway, so you could draw your card. Even though I don't think you could draw a card by doing this, I don't remember. I think you can. I think you can. Don't quote me on that. No, I'm just not remembering right now. Then we do play two emergent. I would play this thing at three if it wasn't <laughs> limited to two. Konami, give me three. Give me three, please, so I could do craziness. So yeah, that thing at two, you have to, bro. You have to. Two infinite impermanence because it's nice to make a board. You're joined to so many cars. You're gonna join to some type of hand trap, bro. It's just gonna happen. And then one Julio Punk Naraka side. You could switch this one for this one if you like. The only reason why I don't use this one, which is another infinite impermanence, really good, is because a lot of the time I like to end up with this thing on the field, and this thing gives you life points. So then. You know, you always want to be lower in life points than your opponent when you're playing this deck. One theory and stand up because this thing is good fodder. So if you send it to the graveyard with your Foxy Tune or something like that, and then you have a Ethereal Monster and you special so many Ethereal Monsters, you could banish this thing and attach it to it. Or you, if you have two Ethereal Monsters, you could special summon one and attach the other one to it. I believe that's how it works. Crazy, right? So that's why you're playing it there. Now, also, again, if you have this thing in the hand and this thing in the hand, Activate this thing's effects, send it to the graveyard, draw two cards. Nuts. Uh, branded Beast, you know, pop a card on the field. That's what you're going to do. Um, Thunder Dragon Colossus, because I'm playing Nemesis Corridor. I play this thing in every punk deck that I build. Except for the one that I'm coming up with as a surprise for you, bro. I'm building a crazy punk deck with one of the new decks that just came out. Then, um, Yukioi Punk Rising Carp, one of those. One Dragon Berserk of the Tenue because you can make level 8s like it's nobody business, like I said. Um, Chaos Ruler, come on, bro. This is, this, this is essential. Please, Konami, don't ever ban this. People been talking about banning this, don't do that, bro. This deck, this card is, is, is nice. It's not, and you can stop it. You can stop this, you can negate it, so don't do that. Um, Punk Jam Dragon Drive to one. You can honestly get rid of that thing if you want to put something else in there. Because I rarely ever go into it. Rarely. But it's nice to have because it does search you out. Punk monsters. You could do combos with it. You know. You know. Then one Revenant's uh, Crocodile uh, Arcasis. Because you can make level 9s with this deck. Because you have all the level 6 and level 3. And this thing is a huge attack boost for, for all the cards in your hand. Which most of the time you have a bunch of them. Also you get to draw a card when you sync or summon into that thing. And also you could get rid of 2 cards and pop a card in the field. This thing is nice. I am playing one virtual world kaiju Shenshin, just in case I want to be <laughs> make this thing and then you know anytime your opponent is comboing off instead of going into the graveyard the monsters get banished so nobody really likes that unless they're playing cards or decks that like that. But one Baron the floor because you could go into Baron the floor in this deck, Social Supreme 7 Chen Ying, Chaos Angel, all three of these are just staples for this deck because there's just level 10s that you can make and all three of them are just cracked. <laughs> Two, you can your punk amazing dragon because sometimes you're gonna use this on your first turn to make even better boards. So I'm playing it at two, but you could definitely get away with one if you want to add some extra sauciness in here. So, but I'm playing it at two. Then psychic can punish her to one, one gigantic champion Shagras. This is just so you, you, a lot of the time, you will also end up with a lot of level eights on the field. And this thing allows you, depending on how you do your combo, to use this thing three times, which is crazy. So, yeah, making this isn't that hard, and then if you want to slap somebody with this thing and make a suze, then you can do that. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the content. I was really excited to show you this. I'm really excited to show you the other replays that I have as well. So, I might just make this video part two, because it's too long already. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the content. If you did, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe to the boy, because I would greatly appreciate it. Any comments, questions, and concerns? Comment in the section below, I always reply. Also, check out the shop in the link description below for any Yu-Gi-Oh cards that you want. If you're interested, check it in there. Tell me if you do buy something from there because you get a discount for being part of the DC gang. So with that being said, continue having a great day and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.